Okay, today I'm going to jailbreak the iPhone 3.0.1. What you need to do is first, in iTunes, update your iPhone 3G or iPhone to the 3.0.1. I don't know if this works on the iPhone 3GS, but I don't think so. So just update your iPhone in iTunes to 3.0.1, which comes as a RAR file, but you need WinRAR or WinZip to extract it. You need to also download the iPhone 3.0 firmware, not 3.0.1. That should already be on your phone through iTunes. You need 3.0 so um, Red Snow can recognize it. Open up Red Snow. The link's in my description for all this. It's 0 0.8. Click Red Snow, the exe file. It says find the IPSW. Click Browse. Now open your 3.0. It should be 7A341 underscore restore, restore, something like that. Open that file. Processing firmware. Successfully identified. Click Next. Make sure install Cydia. That box is checked. I don't know what IC does. You could try it if you want. It's probably something like installer. Now it says make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer. My device is already off and it's plugged into the computer. When you plug it back in and it's off, it might, it probably will turn back on. So make sure when you plug it in, then turn it off. Immediately after this, you'll have to hold down the power button. So have your hand on the power button, and I'll go through these next steps, but if it doesn't work the first time, you can just go back and try again. Hold down the power button for five seconds. Without releasing the power button, also hold down the home button. Now let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. and now it should go into the process of uploading the firmware and on there it'll say done but your iPhone will still have something popped up and I already did this to my iPhone and it took me a few tries and it didn't work so I'll make a video of just showing it on my iPhone so that's how you do it through Red Snow Thanks. Okay, I just jailbroke my iPhone 3.0.1. First, let's show you that it is 3.0.1. Version 3.0.1. .1. And here's Cydia. And I'll open up Cydia right now. First time you open up Cydia, it will be like reorganizing data and you'll have to restart it. And the next time it'll say you need upgrade and you should click complete upgrade to have it working properly. To unlock this, basically unlocking it will allow you to use any SIM card. Like you can use T-Mobile or someone else's SIM card from AT&T. So to do that, go to manage sources and click edit and click add and then here you need to type what's in the description um it's just look at the description and copy that and no snow is with a zero so if it doesn't work make sure you type in ultra snow with a zero and click add source now it'll update your sources. Click return to Cydia. Click done. Click ultrasnow.com. Click ultrasnow. Click install. Click confirm. I'm not going to do that because I'm using the AT&T 
SIM card. But once you do that, it should work. You will need to turn off your phone and turn it back on or maybe reset your network settings. To do that, push home settings. General. Reset. Reset network settings. Do that. Thanks for watching. SoulGFX.com. So you're in charge around here, is that fair to say? Absolutely. I'm the boss. Okay, so take us through a day in the life of the boss. Well, the first thing I do is talk to corporate, approve memos, lead a workshop, remember birthdays, direct workflow, my own bathroom, micromanage.